Welcome back to Ready to Recap. I'm Ferg, joined here today with me. I've got Coach PT. Coach PT, I need a recap of the first three weeks preseason. What you, what did you think about the um, preseason? Oh man, the first three weeks was, uh, I couldn't ask for more. You know, sitting down, going into the summer, building up into training camp, you know, seeing the team, evaluating the guys to go out and just want, I wanted to play. It was a fact-finding mission those first three weeks. Um, I think the Waco game, the first time we touched the ball in the 22-23 season, we scored a touchdown on kickoff return with Martavius. And I think that kind of just set the tone. You know, I knew coming in, having immediate success with, 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 with the Southwest Raiders was going to be paramount. You know, so the first time to touch the ball, to go for a score, and then win that game, I think that kind of set the tone for, for who we are and the buy-in from the, from the uh, team. So uh, that buy-in was big. And then I go into... Wilma Hutch is on the road and travel. Another game that we was able to come out successful. And it's still from those games, the things that we took that we can definitely learn from every week. And just steady pouring into the kids and understanding that it's a lot for us to do. Uh, it's a lot for us to do in a short amount of time, but we, we, we signed up for it and we're ready for it. Week, week three, you know, uh, was a, a, I wouldn't say a drop off, you know, but again, we go two on one in the preseason. Lose, lose a game against Joshua, whether the flags was accurate or not accurate, you know, we can't really speak on that. You know, we got to be a football team that's mentally tough enough and playing clean between the whistles to not let the referees dictate the outcome of a game. But just seeing that fight, uh, I think we grew up more in that Joshua game than we did winning those first two. You know, being able to uh, go down, come up, go back down, but then take a last two-minute drive down and, and score to win the football game, you know, from the, from the grand scheme of things. I think we really grew up in the emotions from the players after the game about how hard they fought and left on the grass. As a coach, that's all you can ask for. Um, coming from week three to the bye week, Coach, what did you think the players grasped and took from that moment? Uh, they, they grew up now. The, uh, the players grew up. Uh, I saw it in the eyes from, from tears to frustration to hurt from losing that Joshua game and going into the bye week, being able to just pull back, refresh, you know, our first break since August 1. You know, so my plan as a, as a head coach and our staff was to, you know, have the guys come out and practice the first three weeks, but also just practice on the little things, clean up a lot of things and just self-scout, you know, look at ourselves and see what tendencies that we need to break, go into things and see uh, even from a coach and staff, how can we coach you guys, uh, the team better, and also just, just build them up going into it. So we want to get uh, for sure healthy. You know, uh, we're, we're being able to bring Pena back. You know, it was, it was tough losing. Uh, Keno and that Wilma Hutchins game, you know, that, 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 that really hurt us losing Tillman. But again, uh, it, it's football. That's all a part of this sport. So next man up and being able to adjust. So going into the bye week, we're looking at district opponents and how we can prepare for them, what we need to do, the different things we need to do, and also just getting ahead on home grades as well in that bye week. When we talk about buying in, Coach, do you feel as if the community is buying into the program more, changing the culture? Oh, most definitely. Uh, the community has been a, a, a huge support. You know, I think I got more phone calls and congratulations after the loss against Joshua than I did the first two wins uh, of the season. And the majority of the conversations and text messages and phone calls I was getting was, coach, those guys play hard. You know, they're heading the right direction. This is a different ball club. I can tell that they're mentally strong. And that's one thing I just want to hang my hat on. If, if someone was to come and watch our football team and knew absolutely nothing about football, what would they say? You know, and I would want them to come back and say that we play with relentless effort. You know, we're a physical football team, fundamentally sound, and just mentally tough. And I think that's what we got, the conversations and feedback I got from that loss against Joshua in week three of, of, as coach. I, I, I definitely see the difference and uh, see how hard those guys play for you. So the community is definitely buying in, man, and, and we couldn't do it without them. So much respect, and I'm extremely grateful for the community. There's a lot of buzz going into the, this game against O.D. White, Coach. So what would you say would be, what would you tell our community? I'm not a big, uh, oh, we're going to win type guy or trying to make predictions. I'm not a big prediction guy. I just want to go out and play Southwest football and play clean football and for our guys to leave it all out on the grass. O.D. White's a really good football team. They are. Uh, they're a really good football team. 
They play well. They're coached well by Coach Chris. I respect I respect the entire coaching staff over there. I respect the players. You know, the players play hard, and it's going to be a great football game. I'm excited about it. the community. is extremely excited about the football game, the school, the uh, the ad man, as well as the teachers is excited about it. But for me, as going to tour the locker room and telling my guys, it's got to be mentally tough. You know, we got to be mentally balanced. I talked to them this morning at practice, letting them know that this is the biggest game. Why? Because it's the next game. You know, uh, I don't want to get too high for a team and then it, it's up and down because of the schedule. The same mindset and winning formula we had the first three weeks of the season, we'll have this week and we'll have the next six weeks to 10 weeks of the season. So I just want our guys to understand we don't have to do anything outside of who we are. Just go out and play Southwest football and the score will dictate itself. I like that. Um, well, that's all we have for today of Ready Recap. Be sure to be at the game against O.D. White this Friday at 7 p.m. And be sure, if you're a student at Southwest High School, be sure to meet at the 50-yard line to be in the student section to cheer our Raiders on. Go Raiders.